good fellas today we are going to go over AKG's 146 ebook or sub tip whatever it is um that people people be asking about this 146 setup so I'm gonna give it to you guys right now um I'm gonna give it to you uh well I'm gonna give you the, the, the depth chart he likes for it I mean like everybody else put your best DT at DT your best block shedder pass rushes on the outside defensive ends or linebackers, whatever you decide to put there on the outside. Uh, said linebackers in the middle. He didn't really name that they got to be really good and all that, but two linebackers. I use the safety at linebacker personally, though. But okay, in the slot guys, he wants them to be fast, the fastest guys in the slot. So I put Kyle Fuller there, even though he's a number one corner, but I put him in the slot because he's the fastest DB they have. And Buster Scrum with 90 speed, I put him on. He's already on that side. Uh, safety said they got to be fast. I guess with a little, you know, with some man coverage, a little bit of man coverage. He didn't really mention the outside guys, but they got to be fast, so they can be decent speed, but whatever. Okay, let's go with it. One four six. He do it out of uh, DB Sting, but he said he wants you to flip DB Sting, DB Sting. So make sure you don't have auto flip on. Okay, let me get the setup for you guys. Uh, he did it. I'm gonna say what he did it against too. We, but you know, we're gonna test the waters. We don't really have to test the waters because we already know what the 146 is about. But this is what he did it against. He did it against uh, something like like Saints out, where everybody went out basically. Um, press. Oh, you flipped the play. We already got that down. You went to the press. Move both DBs in. All right. Contain. Okay. Uh, shade over the top so you won't get BD. Um, it's outside tracks. Okay, he wants you to hover right here. See this guy? Hover right there. If you were to take this guy, and then you were, uh, you know, the reason that you're using this guy right now is because uh, this is a lone side receiver. So the long side or the least side that has the least receivers on it, you want to use it as safety in this situation. So if the play was flipped, you would hover here. With empty, with, with the empty spot there. See, it's empty it's the space there, okay? But being that the play is on this side, you just come down here. You play over the top, the situation like that. It looks like, oh, he wants you to crash your defense line. There's only one D lineman, which is the DT. Crash out, slant outside. So the setup is fit the play before you pick it, press, crash D line, out. Move both cornerbacks in, which we all know that. Uh, shade outside. Okay, if you shade outside, so you're going to get beat deep. But if somebody will hit you with in routes, slant routes, then you want to shade inside. Okay, you want to shade inside. And they, I think they jump inside a little bit. See, they move a little bit. You see the, the DBs. If they hit you with out routes or corner routes or something like that, then what you want to do is you want to shade, you want to shade outside. See how they jump them, they jump. Okay, uh, that's the setup. Yeah, that's the setup. He 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 showed it like this. He hiked the ball and hold on. Okay, yeah, there you go. He hiked the ball. This should show the this should show the blitz. It's gonna be like five going out, so of course somebody gonna get in. I think he was controlling two controllers too, so that way the guy wouldn't throw the ball. But that's the setup that people was asking about that they that I'm just showing you with the guy. And then of course they're gonna get in because it's like seven versus five. Okay, so we're gonna you know I'm gonna test the water type of guy, but I really shouldn't have to test the water for this, but I am I'm sorry. I'm gonna try to find a play with uh the multiple blocking. Like PA wide receiver, and I think it's like multiple blocking, if I'm not mistaken. Not that the, I think the tight end do go out. Uh, they do go out, yeah. All right, this this is oh this is right here. This is it right here. Let's see how it works against something like this. Press, contain, crash the defense line. Catch, crash the defense line, man. Out, there's only one lineman there. Uh, play over the top. Right, cover the top, right? Okay. Hover with this guy. And they're not gonna hike it if I, if I hold on to the button, correct? Still get a pressure. Still get. Oh, he got away though. Okay, but he still get. We all need to get in though. I don't even like having did that. 
Okay, so you could do it like this as well. See, being, I mean, this everybody should already notice by now that it runs one four six. But if you don't, do the setup. I'm mad I touched that guy. I hate when that happens. Okay, you know if you're on the opposite side, you can just cover two on one side. I touched the DB, so that's why he didn't come down. I'm going to let them hike the ball. Hike the ball. I'm clicking on. I'm clicking on. I'm going to click on ball when it comes to sacking the quarterback. Press. I'm out. I'm out. All right. Okay. Uh. Let's cover two one side if you want to. Like that. And just play over the top. You could do a look like that if you want. This is mostly this is people's running like that. Uh, you could just play play man coverage, you're moving back some if you want. You know, different things you can do. You could probably put them in a, if they like uh doing out routes or curve routes or something, you could take risks like that. Because this a he said this is risky and the justy. You're getting a risky and justy, but he he really said that versus uh tight upsets. You can just do different looks if you want. Thanks, ball. Still get it in. Okay, now let's go. The reason why he really made this video, he really should the show basically versus wild why outs. This is in the Saints playbook and the Packers playbook. It's time to get risky and adjusty. Okay, there you go. I got it. Remember, guys, flip, flip the play. So, do not have auto flip on. Uh, this versus this. Okay. It's the same setup. You want to press, contain, move these guys in. Both uh, DBs. Move them in, right? And then what you want to do here. Hold on. Right? You want you to deep blue the safety, the deep blue the cornerback. That's on the side that the wide outs will be on, which is opposite of the running back. And he wants you to put this guy in a in a hook curl, right? What's the hook? Where's the hook at? Hook curl, okay, like this. Cause you say you're getting risky and adjust Jesse because you are we are sending seven, so most likely they can't pick up seven. I gotta crash my D line man. Now he wants you to hover over here. But what I noticed, the reason why I stopped running um a tight offset is because when people do use one four six. And if, you know, because if, if he have, usually, usually if you hover here and you run inside zone versus 146, you're going to get yardage. Like, if the blocking is just crazy. Even if you, you can, it is crazy. You can motion over receiver and help blocking as well. It's crazy. So what people would do, they would take, take like a Pat Tillman. Somebody would like Pat Tillman, probably Jamal Adams now and uh, um, Collins from the, from the Giants Redskins. They would stand right here, right? And once you went in, once you, I want run inside zone. Any I even seen on stream. Other people want in, other people runs inside zone. They just come down and blow it up. They come the, the hole is like a big gaping hole. They just come down and blow it up. I can't do it personally because my instincts ain't fast enough. But they will just stand here and they will come down and they will hit stick you, fumble, tackle in the backfield. But if you hover right here, you got a chance of running the ball versus it. So this is said for the video purpose. They passing, okay? And uh. Yeah, they passing. Okay. 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 Another thing, what I noticed, I think you should play inside because of the drag and because of that tight end route. Uh, if they have hot routes, master, they can also put the tight end on the corner route. Well, the guy that I'm guarding, you, he's a tight end now, but you can put a wide receiver right there because they have the packages for that. So this. I advise you to play inside, or what's it outside? I can't remember. I don't know. You can play inside, outside. You can just play with your play with your opponent head pause because they got the corner routes that can go to the outside, and they got the drag route that go to the inside. Um, I think the corner routes are more dangerous than that little drag coming across, so you might want to play outside. Let's move him in. Okay, move him in. Press your defensive lineman out. I got to press too. And go back on my guy. I mean, you can leave it like this too and be successful, like, because you can leave it like this. As long as you got them guys down, because there's no way you can consistently pick up seven with no tight end on the line of scrimmage in these type of formations. You're not picking up seven like that. You will have to, like, 
motion over wide receiver, block the running back, and hope that they pick those guys up. That's why I stopped using this formation because, um, I mean, I've been seeing Pony, Pony Montana this weekend. Some dude, I forgot the dude name. The dude was running like mid blitz. Versus, he was just destroying it, um, destroying uh, Pony. Pony was raging. Pony was raging this this uh, this weekend. When the dude with this, he was screaming at him because it's hard to pick up blitzes in this formation. Um, and just go. I'm go with the regular. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play outside coverage as well. Uh, play outside. So that we can get the two uh, corner outs. Okay. Go. And I played outside, and that that wide that wide out still beat his man. That's crazy. Okay. Uh, I think that's about it, right? You got to adjust the you're gonna press, press the D line man out. Uh, it's him, yeah, move him in, contain D blue, D blue the corner, uh, D blue the cornerback that's on the that's not on the uh, running back side. You can put that uh, enemy got to be on him. You could just stand on this guy and you still could do all that. Why am I why am I on him? Like, that don't make sense. And you put uh, this safety in the hook curl like this. Just in case they try to throw like a like a quick shriek or something like that to uh 13 or number 10, he would be there like that. And I will play, I will actually play an outside. Cause then you gotta just worry about worry about the post, right? The post to again. If you get enough time to throw that, you hover right there, and he got bumped. And I look, I caused the fumble. That's one thing you might run into, guys. You may run into the DB. Uh, look at that. <laughs> it's a physical player. You may be, these type of formations when it's you send the heat off the edge like that, the DBs may run into uh to the wide receivers like that. See, even though I was like messed up, but he still wanna he still wanna put his arms on him and bumping him like that. See, so it took a delay and then whatever. But uh, this is sub tip from AKG. Again, risky and adjust adjusty when you run in um. Versus the tight off sets. So you got this, you got this one, right? You got this one versus tight off sets, and you have uh, the one I just posted, the clefs. Clefs is a lot more safer, and this is just a lot more riskier. I don't, you don't even have to hover. You can stand here like other people do. You can stand here, and then they do the inside zone, you blow it up. So you don't really have to hover, see? It still gets in. So I, personally, guys, I would, I would advise you guys not to hover unless they are motioning number 10, number 19, which is again, they're motioning in again for extra blocking or they're motioning uh, number 10. Whoever, number, who's number 10? Number 10 is, I can't tell number 10 is. I'm trying to get a uh, uh, number 10 where it would be, how you man up somebody? Okay, number 10, T. Smith. I guess that might be Toby Smith. I'm not quite sure. If they most if if your opponent consistently motioning one of those guys to pick up to help with the blitz, and then you will hover, and then when they snap the ball, you stay there for a second to occupy the tackle number seventy one Remzak whatever that Remzak Remzak to occupy him, you take off. But if they just coming out like this and then snapping the ball, stay back here just to just to have a better chance of blowing up the run. Okay, comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.